right, so you can see how the finished skimmer turned out. I think it turned out really well. There's really not much uh, to it, and this is really an easy DIY project. Now that we've got this wrapped up, I need to see what I'm going to have to do to modify my current coolant tank to make this work. Well, all right, guys. Well, I've got... I had to do a little modification to get this uh, skimmer to work with my particular flood coolant setup. As you remember, I've upgraded this thing uh, several times over the years, but um, what I had to do was, well, let me just show you. So what I have is a couple of uh, totes here. Now this tote has the lid that folds together and it's kind of laced. And what I did was I just cut out a square in it and then I stuck another tote of the same kind on top of it without the lids and cut a hole in that and I have a I think it's a hundred micron stainless steel mesh screen in there well as you can see this is pretty tight and because I have this on a roller uh, so I can move it in and out uh, I'm limited with the space here also this tote is exactly the same size as the bottom tote. What I have is a tote inside a tote so that if the tote here must maybe get cracked or something it wouldn't leak so it was just kind of as a precaution. But the lid that came on this was just a regular lid that just kind of snaps on. So what I did was I took that lid and I have cut it out so that, let me put you on the stand here, so that I can sit this tote, which I picked up at Lowe's, inside, like so. I don't know if you can see any of that. Okay, so you can kind of see how it's going to go. And then that leaves room for the skimmer over here. And I just uh, drilled a bunch of series of holes in here, and I'm going to put the stainless steel mesh in here. And then it's cut out at the top for where the uh, flood coolant comes out of the machine because it's just a little small rectangle uh, if you guys recall so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, let me get over to the flood coolant I'm going to pull it out and pull out the current setup and get this installed now one thing I want to point out is uh, I've added this little hose here and then I can just throw it into a bottle and then as it wicks off or as it gets the oil gets skimmed it'll just kind of drain down and go into a little bottle or water bottle or a cup or something now when I originally built my machine and wired it all up what I did was I just wired a 110 volt outlet to be turned on with the coolant relay and so I can plug in a outlet box is what I did an extension outlet box to go to my flood coolant pump and it has two receptacles on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug one receptacle for my flood coolant pump and one receptacle for my skimmer and then that way whenever the, it calls for flood the skimmer will run so I think that's going to work out really good so let me get over to the machine and we'll uh, try to get this all assembled alright so <clears throat> As you can see, my coolant's fairly clean. I don't have a huge sludge problem at the moment, but that's because it hasn't been that long since I've refreshed this, cleaned it out, and scrubbed it out. But there is a little bit of sludge in here if you look along the edges here. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. You can kind of see it sticks to the... To the edges but so hopefully this skimmer will take care of that kind of stuff so <clears throat> you can see what I was saying I have a tub inside a tub here and uh, this one's the kind that has the accordion type um, you know the lid that kind of closes together I'm gonna leave this portion on here and what I did was I cut a hole through here that will allow the uh, skimmer to go through I'm gonna uh, pull this together and put a drill a hole through here and put a, uh, a wire tie in here just to give this uh, some support and then I'll just set the lid on top of here and uh, 
we should be ready to kind of push it in there. Let me uh, get this set up. All right, you can kind of see how the setup's going to work now. I just got it plugged into an outlet there, just running it just to see how it operates. Got a couple of weighted pieces of scrap aluminum in there. I've got my 100 micron filter mesh in there. Uh, it is picking up some coolant a little bit. It's been running probably, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. You can see I don't have that much sludge, but there is actually some sludge right there. Maybe you can see. Starting to come off of there. And I'm just going to have that ran into like a milk jug, a one gallon jug. And then I'll check it from time to time. And if there's any cooling in there, I can pour that off and uh, dump out the sludge. Most of it coming up here, it get picked up gets picked up and uh, drips off seems to be working uh, only time will tell we'll have to see I might need to adjust my belt a little bit I do have it a good bit of pressure there I might not need so much pressure on the belt there that might uh, get rid of some of the uh, coolant that I'm picking up. I'll probably adjust that before I stick it up under there. So I just need to push this all kind of up under there. Uh, got my hole here for my chute. I don't know if you guys remember the little chute there, so there's not much to it. Um, and uh, I'll plug it in. And then every time my coolant is called for, the uh, skimmer will run. Seems to be working okay. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner. That way when I post a new video, they'll send you a link. And if it's something you're interested in, like a DIY skimmer, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.